Alright, so I thought we saw the large ones in the last video of mine, but this one says it's a 30 by 50. So this is uh, her flower set. I told you I kind of like the idea of. Don't know if she realized it was a 30 by 50 though. Like I said, she likes the small paintings and this is a bit bigger than that. I think that is really pretty. I wonder if she got the other one. It was a two set. There was this one and another animal. I don't remember what the other animal is. I think it was a cat of some sort though. And there is a lot down here that seems like it's empty space. Again, dummy circles on this one. 24 colors. Look at a green eye. This seems like a lot of waste space down here. I mean, his fur goes down in here, it looks like a bit, but you could honestly cut it off here and have a pretty decent picture. This seems like a lot of excess. So I want to measure that and see how, if the picture could have been a 30 by 40 or if Paper's covering a bit weirdly. I know, I still gotta show you guys the drills. I did that out of order. Or out of the order I normally go in. Right at the end of this red flower to the top it'd be 35 so, 35 would be basically a 40 inch canvas and this is 25 30 yeah, so I wouldn't mind it being a 30 by 40, I guess. Yeah. 30 by 40 would be way more than enough. That'd still leave a lot of this extra. Even if the 30 was, if it was a 30 by 40, we'd say it's the 25 that is now by a 35. If it was to be that, I think that would be the perfect size, honestly. I think by 50 is a little odd. It should just be a 30 by 40. Anyway, drill circles, a lot of color blocking up here. It's a cute little fox. And we got creams, purples, browns. Pinks, greens, oranges. Oh, it's kind of cool. I found another one that's too large for my 30 by 40 book next. Let's go with this one. I see doggy faces. Again, canvas has those waves in it. Right in here I can feel the wave where it looks like, yep, I don't know if you can see this trail right here. See that? The cover sheet is holding that bump on it. So this is being puckered up like that because the cover sheet is taut. So that was bagged that way. See that? Let's put 
think it's not a poured glue, but that was bagged that way. Oh, there's the tool kit. For a second, I didn't find the tool kit. I was going to say first painting I've ever got without a tool kit, as far as I know. So this one, again, I think should be a lot, a lot larger. Because there's so many animals on it. But they look like they might actually turn out pretty decent. Just could you imagine them in a 40 by 70? How much more you'd see of them? They definitely look decent for the size, though. Be interested in seeing what it looks like with drills on it. So we have kind of brown colors, pink, purple, cream, orange, green, yellow, black, blue. Green looks very bright. We have 25 colors. Look at that little face. We got these two and a little Dalmatian. These three. So that's a lot of dogs in one photo. And this one has the annoying little small bags. Can't see anything in there with the paper. So he looks a little dull here. Hopefully he doesn't look as dull with the drills on. We have 20 colors. Uh, this one's... Oh, a colorful cat. Both colorful and dark at the same time. And it kind of looks like it's a house cat mixed with like a lion or some type of large cat. A lot of dark colors and then some brighter colors like the yellow in there pink and purple that's interesting Again, this whole half of the face area, though, is pretty much blacked out. I prefer my paintings not be like that. Even if that's, like, how real shadows would be, I, I just rather my paintings all be nice and colorful. So. Thoughts on the images, both. It's nice and eh. So we have 25 colors. Nice flower, the colorful head with some really gorgeous eyes. The uh, nose. All this though, that looks like it's gonna lose pretty much everything to it. And then you got the rest of his mane or hair, whatever it is. And some extra down here, which I think is supposed to be its body, but yeah, so there's that guy. I know which this one is just by looking at this piece. I think I've, sh well, I've shown you pretty much all my canvases. So I have shown you this. This one is the two cats sitting in kind of a garden that I told you they, the photo I had was a zoomed in version. This is the full version that I was talking about where you have the little turtle here and stuff, this here. 
So the picture I had was these two cats in a 30 by 40 lengthwise. And now this is a 30 40 this way with the two cats and the extra. Very bright colors. Look at that. Those colors jump out at you. Cool. Kind of a medium soft canvas. Definitely not as rigid as some of the others, but not as soft as the really nice ones that just lay flat. Alright. So they look like they actually still have eyes though. Curious how that butterfly will look with drills on it does look like there's enough color that it maybe is outlined and might actually show up. There's 32 colors in this canvas. 30 by 40 with 32 colors. So hopefully that color difference means that this is all going to be quite detailed and not that it's just going to look very pixely with random splotches of color because I've seen it go both ways with canvases with a lot of color in them. Hey, this one's my Betty Boop. I showed you guys the uh, Love Betty Boop. And this one is Betty Boop in a bath. And again, it has, sorry. Again, it has this fold built into it. You see, can you see that there's a gap in there holding this wrinkle in? I think those were done when the cover was put on, not in shipping or anything. Other than that, the canvases look okay. The box was in excellent condition. So, pinks, blues, greens, browns, creams, pinks. Hopefully her skin doesn't look like this pink. That doesn't look too bad on the camera, but in real life that is like pink. This is more of a cream. That's kind of a cream pink. So, hopefully, her skin doesn't look too pink. So, again, I got this one because my grandpa would have liked it. I don't really know all too much about Betty Boop, honestly. I don't know if I've seen stuff with her in it or not, but my grandpa used to really like her, so he had tattoos of her and stuff. And he definitely would have appreciated this photo. And there's another one that I want to get with uh, Betty Boop on a motorcycle. Kind of wearing the leather jacket, the bike. Well, I'm afraid that one won't turn out in this size, which is the size that they have it in. But... So you got 18 colors, really easy to read symbols and letters. bathroom scene. Alright, I'm going to try to do 10 in this video. So however long it ends up becoming with 10 is however long it ends up becoming with 10, but that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm feeling quite tired and I have a dog that might want my attention before then, so we'll see what we can do. This one I think looks really pretty. It's a panda, but it's kind of like more of that coloring book style or something, so it's quite vivid. 
This one's another one that I would put on that beginner painting with the Jaguar that I'm going to be working on soon. And the cat, uh, the Jaguar, and the tiger. That's what I was trying to say. So I got pinks, a brownish color pink, blues, grays, blacks, orangish. Not quite a real orange, but kind of orange. I do really like this one. All the colors look like it pops off the canvas. Looking at it from here, you literally could hang it as is and not even have to put drills on it and it still looks like a great painting. Hopefully it stays that way with the drills on it. Bad paintings can turn good. Can good paintings turn bad? I don't want that to ever happen to find out. So hopefully not, or hopefully I just never run into it, but... So, I don't mind graffiti. I don't mind color blocking. Um, I don't mind the skin all being one color on stuff, or the fur, because... Sometimes when it's multiple colors, the difference in the color is too obvious that it looks more pixely than just realistic to me. So, I'm of both minds on quantity of colors in a painting or color blocking versus putting a lot of colors in to equal one color. Normally, since I like them being more vivid like this, I kind of do like them using a solid color for the face and stuff like that and not switching it up too much. I don't like shadows like I said. So. Really look at that. That is so cute. Such a good little photo. And of course, eyes for the white. The painting I'm doing right now is eyes for the white. Seems like W's tend to be the black color. Even if it's not the 310, it's the 9... What is it, 939? It seems like the W's tend to be the black color. And the eyes tend to be a white color for a lot of the paintings I've looked at. Or I've noticed that on a lot. Maybe it's only the few, but because I'm working on it, I noticed that. That looks really cool. Kind of reminds me of like Kung Fu Panda or something. This one is quite colorful and black. I see tiger again. I think that's a tiger. Maybe it's another house cat. Tiger or house cat? It's a house cat. A little 30 by 30. Plain boat, nothing with it. Pinks, reds, oranges, blues, some cream gray colors. Not a bad color palette. Definitely a darker color palette. And again, there's a lot of black on the face. All of this black over here. And this is definitely a nice sticky canvas. So I wanted to get my lady done before I start working on the Jaguar, and I might get her done before then, I might not. I don't have all too much left to work on, but I haven't been working on it every day, and I've been working on it really fast, so. Anyway, we have 22 colors. Look at those eyes. These flowers over here. Again, not sure what I think. It might look really pretty, at least, you know, this, but this all being black here, and it is pretty much all W's. So this is gonna be pretty much all black. 
not a huge fan of that. Alright. What is this guy? Oh! This is a wolf with a flower over its face. Funny thing with this painting. My mom bought it twice for herself and then once for me or accidentally bought it three times for herself and I pointed out she had two so she gave me the one she already had in the mail. However that works. <laughs> My mom has two of these now and I have one. It's really pretty. So a really dark green and red and black and grays, whites, blues. I have a dog that wants me to feed it that's laying on my foot. He decides since I wasn't paying attention to him that he'd apparently come lay his head on my foot. This canvas doesn't have any of the real any of those weird waves through it. And again, I think it's gonna look a little bit brighter with uh, the drills on it but that green was very dark so the green in these leaves are still going to be quite dark I think we have 19 colors this time we have ones or eyes or whatever is the black look at that eye and the flower Two more left. Oh boy. This one again looks like it has a really huge white border. And it looks like it's a black unicorn, possibly similar to that white unicorn that we got. But look how big that border is. And then boat with extra bags. The weird little diamond shaped diamond bags. Again, not as bad as the tiny ones, but why not give me a chain because they're also scrambled in here we have 24 colors in it so i'm gonna measure this one because i believe this one's one of those ones that is not gonna be a 25 by 35 like you expect too big a border i really do kind of feel like these ones ship you out by calling themselves a 30 by 40 because you've come to expect a 30 by 40 to be a 25 by 35 and they're not even that but because the canvas size is a 30 by 40 they still get to market as a 30 by 40 because they are talking canvas size so they can print a smaller image on here how wide of a border are we going to end up getting on paintings could you imagine if we have one of these paintings come that's only like a 10 by 10 with like a border that's bigger than the painting around it? I mean, that's a little exaggerated, but isn't that kind of what these companies are doing when they print such a large border around the painting and not give you what you expect the canvas to be? They're kind of jipping you out of work area, selling you a smaller painting for the price of the larger painting. So we got 34, so okay. Thirty-four by twenty-four. So this one actually isn't bad, even though the white border looks so big. So yeah, this one just has an extra white, extra thick white border, but it's not really any smaller of a painting than another thirty by forty. So my comment doesn't stand true with this painting, but it does stand true with others. <laughs> Did I show you guys the drill? Because 
my brain apparently is going blank and I don't know where the drills are. Or if I showed them to you, if I put them in the box, or... I was going to double check that this code was on them and now I can't find them. Pulled the top drills out of the box and they went to the other paintings. I'm not sure. Anyway, we got black unicorn, kind of looks similar to the white one. Again, dummy circles on this one as well, 24 colors. Again, probably not something I really would have bought, but not a bad little picture. And then the last painting I'm gonna open right now. This one looks like it's a bunny rabbit. Little chubby faced bunny rabbit. So I like bunny rabbit photos but I'm not a super fan of this cute chubby bunny. Creams, whites, pinks, yellows, browns. I personally would not have got this one. Not that it doesn't look like it's decent for what it is. Just not the style I'm interested in. Again, I'm very picky. The style I'm interested in is both something and not that at the exact same time. I'm one of those ones that like a gray line, screw black or white, everything has a center. So I don't blame some people or most people if they don't know exactly what I'm saying I do like or don't like because you're like, this looks similar to a bunny you have. It's like, no, it's completely different. His mouth is open. He's happy. Mine's just more staring at you. So, <laughs> tiny little things like that can change if I like a painting or not. We have 23 colors, or if I'm interested in working on a painting, I should say. I'm not saying it's a bad painting, just not one I would buy over the other ones. Because I do have other bunnies on my list I'd really like, but it's cute for what it is. And then that's the last one there. Still have somewhere around 20. I don't know what my last count was. I don't know how accurate my count is. I am putting the drills in with the paintings that I've opened, so it's a little hard to count bags from drills the way I have them in the box. Trying to clean up all the mess. So that's it for that set gonna deal with the dogs food show and then I might come back and do another set 